In this video, I'm going to show you this really awesome pop-out Instagram effect that you can do right inside of Adobe Photoshop. So let's get right into it. So you first want to begin by taking a screenshot of your Instagram profile. You can go onto one of your pictures and you can take a screenshot and you just want to send that to your computer. So to begin, you just want to zoom in to the photo that you've selected and we're just going to go up to the rectangle mask tool and we're going to draw a rectangle mask around the photo. Now we're going to hold command C and then command V and that will paste that photo into its own layer. Now we'll go back into the mask tool again and we'll just draw a, another mask around that image. But this time, instead of copying the photo, we're going to go into the eraser tool and making sure that the background is selected. We're just going to erase everything within that mask. So we're just going to get rid of that photo. Now, once you're happy with the look of that, we can hold command D to deselect the mask. And we'll go back to our normal cursor. We'll turn the copied photo back on. We'll press the eyeball to turn it back on. And then we'll just increase the scale. So we're going to hold command T and we're going to use one of the corner arrows. Hold shift on your keyboard and we're just going to increase the size of this photo. Now from here, we're going to go over to opacity and we'll reduce the opacity down to around 50% so we can see where the top of the frame would be. And then we're just going to perfectly position this photo. And then we're just going to move this photo to anywhere that we want within the frame, making sure there is a subject overlapping the top or the bottom of the photo area. Now, once you're happy with the positioning of that, we'll just press enter to confirm that. And then look for areas of your subject that are sticking outside of the normal Instagram photo area. And if there's any specific areas that do go over, then you want to go up into the polygonal lasso tool and you just want to draw a mask around these specific areas. So I'm going to start with my hair. So the top of my head and my hair are just going over the top of the photo. So I'm going to draw a mask around this. And similar to what we did in the beginning, I'm just going to hold command C and command V and that will copy that into its own layer. Now select the original layer one more time. And now I'm just going to move over to my hand and my phone. With the polygonal lasso tool selected, I'm just going to draw around my hand and my phone. We'll press command C and command V and that will paste that into its own layer. And then we just need to remove part of the original image that has gone over that border from Instagram. So we're going to go up to the rectangle mask tool one more time. And with that original photo selected, we're just going to draw a rectangle mask around the top part of this photo, making sure you don't go below that line. And then we'll go over to the erase tool and we'll just erase everything within that mask. Now, of course, if the photo went over the bottom of this, then you can do that for the bottom. But mine didn't in this example. Now, from here, we're just going to go back to the original copied layer and we're just going to pull the opacity back up to 100 percent. And as you can see, the photo is popping out from Instagram. This does look really awesome, but there's one more thing we can do to take this to the next level, and that is to add some shadow. So we'll go layer, new layer. We'll go over to the brush tool on the left of Photoshop. And then we'll decrease the size of the brush. We'll pull the hardness all the way down to 0%. We'll change the color of this to black. And then we're just going to draw a very quick and very simple line on the right of the phone and the right of the hair. This doesn't need to be perfect, so don't worry about perfectly following the outline of your shape. But once you've done this, you just want to reduce the opacity. And if you've painted over the original background image, then you want to go ahead and select the rectangle mask, draw a mask around those parts of the image that you painted over, select the erase tool and we'll just erase those parts. So go through this process for every time you went over into the original copied image. Now, once you're happy with that, you've completed that part. You've now successfully completed the Instagram pop out effect. It's really simple. It's really quick. It's really easy. And there you go. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.